there is lots of things to discuss around Monad and this is already part eight of the Monad series here on my channel. German, welcome. We got a lot of things we need to talk about. For example, there's the mainnet date that might have been leaked. A lot of updates around Monad and the Monad ecosystem and also a few new dApps that you can check out. First of all, if you don't know what Monad is, how the whole ecosystem looks like, how to get testnet tokens, this is part of a complete series here on my channel. You can see this here, the last part is part seven, but I will link the complete playlist up here and in the end of the video. Make sure to check out the other videos in the series because in every part I show you step by step how to interact with different platforms and dApps how to get some meme coins, NFTs and all of that to get in some testnet transactions. We will also take a look at a checker on how much you did with your wallet. So you have a rough estimate on where you're at. And now let's get started. So first of all, I talked about this in a previous video, but this is the ecosystem page. As always, all the links are down in the description. You can go through here and you can, for example, filter for wallets, for analytics, for a gaming infra, for everything that you want to check out for different gaming apps and all of that. If you're doing this, then you can go through those and test more platforms and dApps that I've shown you here in my video. If you need some step-by-step -step guides on some of them, just comment the ones down below that I should cover in a step-by-step -step guide. Now, first of all, let's talk about the leaked mainnet date. So Monet mainnet on September 30th, 2025, confirmed date posted by Benja, who's the founder of Chalk NFT and Chalk XYZ. And this is a leak from Coin Market Cap. And if we click on it, then the likely launch is changed to 2025. It doesn't look the same anymore. So maybe this is a leak date. We don't know for sure. And here it says only one of these details is correct. So here it says launch September 29th and total supply, max supply 100 billion. Those are all true. So this is something that has been posted. So we don't know if that's true, but it might be possible that the mainnet launch date is actually at the end of September. This would also mean that we still have two months to go. So if you haven't been active at all, or if you have a bit inactive on Monad, now's the time to put in some transaction to get more and more data in. So in case they reward the testnet users that you are one of those that are being rewarded. Let's go through some of the other updates. For example, Monad testnet is now live on MetaMask. A bit late but still here we go so on top of all the wallets that i've shown you in the previous videos metamask is also now ready to use the monad testnet with another update is that the monad foundation has acquired portal you can see this here and portal stablecoin infrastructure platform allows any business bank or financial institution to accept stablecoin payments currently powering millions of dollars in daily settlements you can read more about the acquisition here but the important part is that monad has also positioned itself in the current stablecoin hype i've said this in some of my other videos on this channel that i think that stablecoins are one of the main drivers possibly to get the mainstream adoption that everyone in Web3 wishes for. It just makes sense. So I think this is a strong move from Monad to or from the Monad Foundation to buy Portal to get the infrastructure in-house, therefore get more of the pie because they get the fees and all of that. Then we covered Kizzy Mobile in one of my previous videos. I'm going to link it up here as well. So if you don't know how to set everything up with Kizzy, make sure to check out this one here. I explain it in detail. You can use the code Kizzy2. I'm not sure if I actually also have an uh, invite code, so feel free to use mine or that one. Either way, season two is live 
and you can go in there and start betting again, get some points and maybe get rewarded from both Monad themselves and also Kizzy possibly. There's a, a bunch of apps to try on testnet and this is interesting because the official Monad account posted this. So it might be clever to try out those different platforms here because they are highlighted by the team so it might be good to actually get some transactions in with those here. Most of them have been already covered in my previous videos. For example, we got Opinion Labs, we got Rarebet Sports in the last one, we covered Kizzy Mobile, we covered Kuru Exchange. I will go to through some of the others here in the next videos. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those. But I thought it would be good to try out one of those in this video so we have another platform before I show you the different checkers, how you're doing on testnet. So let's connect the wallet as always. In my case it's the Rebby wallet because it's my preferred EVM wallet. Let's hit connect and then we're ready to go. So as you can see, I got some USDC here, some Mon. Let's uh, go from USDC to uh, Mon. Let's go with 50% of the USDC that I got to Mon, approve and swap. Let's sign. We approved this. Now we're gonna sign the message. And boom, now this is a DEX aggregator, super simple to use. We just use the swap function to get in um, two new transaction because we approved the USDC and then we approved the actual transaction to swap from USDC to MON. And also we interacted with yet another contract and also platform. And since this is an aggregator, probably in the background, we also used other platforms, for example, here, we used uh, the smart route, which was pancake swap and Monad wrapper. So we interacted with different platforms as well. Now, super quick, super easy. You can do some transactions with this from time to time, because most of the times it's good to have monthly activity, weekly activity, daily activity, all of those might be factors. If you're just having one day where you did a lot of things, then you might be disqualified. There might be some criteria like having at least 10 different days on which you interacted with the chain, for example, have at least 10 different platforms or smart contracts that you interacted with and stuff like that. Having some volume is always good. So those kinds of things that show that you've been active on the testnet. Now to finish this off, let's talk about two checkers. The first one is from Layer Hub. You just go here and then you paste in your wallet address. I pasted one of mine in here and you can see this wallet is in the top 15.5% better than 16, almost 17 million <laughs> wallets out of 20 million, which is good. 74 transactions in this one, 69 contract interactions and 1 million nets, zero. The wallet balance looking good here as well. Of course, there's people that have way more and you can see here, this is what I said. This wallet has nine active days, eight active weeks and five active months. And this is something that I want to uh, definitely increase. As you can see, I almost did only once a week and day per month over five months. That has to change. Probably going to do daily transactions starting from now and therefore also getting a higher active weeks count and getting in the top percentages through all of those. We don't know what the criteria is, but this is a good point to see how you're doing against all of the rest from the Monad testnet users. Now there's also a Monad score. You can also paste your address in here. Again, links are down in the description. You can see the account age, 1M NFT holder, this wallet is not, no node runner. So there's different criteria that they put into a place. The numbers are the same here. You can see I got 25 different ERC20 tokens, three different ERC721 and 31155. Now you can see that there's no node uptime here in this one. And 
that's basically it. You can see a nice overview in which category you fall. So you might want to try to get into one of those here. And yeah, that's basically the Monad score. As always, try to do the weekly fantasy top competitions. Again, in the playlist, the first video I cover in detail how to play fantasy top. You can still get started. This is an additional wallet that you can use and that all being said, let me know if you think that the mainnet date at the end of September is actually true. What are your monad scores? How many transactions, unique days, weeks and months have you got? And that all being said, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video where we will cover more platforms and depths that you can interact with. And I'm going to give you step by step guides for this. See you soon.